Well, here we are. Cyberpunk 2077 review. It just kept getting bigger and bigger, and now it's at some epic length. I had so much to say on it, and I know it's been a while, but I guess I have the last word on it. And I just want to thank you for your patience, guys. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the review. We worked very hard on it. A lot of footage to go through and uh, some cool parodies. So I hope you guys enjoy. I want to thank our sponsors, G Fuel. Uh, we have a 30% off coupon. It's the best deal that you're going to get with G Fuel. Uh, buy it, man. I'm serious. It's no sugar. It gives you great energy. Help me get through a lot of editing nights here towards the end. So thank you to G Fuel. And thank you even more to you guys uh, for supporting the show. So I hope you guys enjoy. Here's the review. City Project Red, please report to the principal's office. City Project Red to the principal's office immediately. Have a seat. What the fuck is this? Did you bite off more than you can chew? You're supposed to be setting an example for the other kids. I'm not joining them and encouraging this shit. I am really disappointed in you. You used to be on the A honor roll. Do you remember your last win for us? Witcher 3, it was a school legend. And now look at you. You're on the wrong path. No, that's not true. Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> but, but they're my friends. Don't. Yeah? You want to explain this to me? Who gave this to you, huh? Life service, hard drugs. Are you serious? Tell me who gave this. Did EA give this to you? CD, CD Project Red, you do not need to be messing around with this kind of shit. Hey. Hey, you kids, come over here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, come sit down. Come on. Nah. Get on, come on, come on. Come on. Got some. There's a cool kids table. Sit down. Okay. Right. You want to try some uh, DLC? What are you guys? Uh, what? No. Microtransaction. What about that? No. Loot boxes. This is good? good stuff. No. Making lots of money. No, guys. I'm I'm all right. I don't I don't need any of that. Now, they, people would be so disappointed with me. I. What's doing it? No. Come on, how really? about live service? Though? Look at that. You don't even have to finish the That's game. You release stuff. it in whatever stage you want. It'll make you feel so. For good. real? I don't have to finish the game. Try. It. Just oh. just a little puff. Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit. Oh, okay. Here, let me, okay. Let me You're better than this. You know, I'm sorry I have to do this to you, but detention. Detention for the rest of the semester. No, detention until this entire situation is fixed. Get out of my sight. I can't, I can't even look at you anymore. Turn your life around. You still can. And stop hanging out with the bad crowd. God, how do I reach these kids? You done fucked it up! The launch of this game was a complete disaster, especially on last-gen consoles. Whatever happened to releasing it when it's ready? Cyberpunk 2077 may no longer be the mystery it once was, but work on it is far from over. True to the promise made in 2013, it's still coming when it's ready.
Well, it wasn't at all ready. So much so that the damn game became a living meme online. If I need your body, I'll fucking... Dick. Why do you come here? For fun? For power? Looking for a shock to the system? Yeah. Because before they put a bullet in you, you'll make this whole city burn. Cyberpunk 2077. Pre-order now. To be honest with you, I didn't want to play it. I had to force myself sometimes. I was depressed with the whole situation. I wanted to play the motherfucking finished version, not the goddamn early access version. Nice. Rough riders. Whoa. Whoa. What? Um. Uh, okay. Uh. Uh. Um. I was. I was having fun. Pan Am. I mean. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I kind of... Come on, limp dicks. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even want to do this fucking review. Guys, <laughs> this is this is really, really bad. <sighs> All right, CD Projekt. You done fucked it up. So much hope and confidence were put into CG Project Red by us all, and they simply failed us. Way up on uh, once you get rid of the guy. Oh! oh! He was a burger. Where'd you get that fucking Don't burger, dude? That's I, how I made my millions. I sell burgers. I, I want a burger like that. Here's a burger. Here's a burger. <laughs> you get a burger. They went and did what the other misfits and rejects at school are doing. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Oh shit, what? I don't. Where did you. Fuck this! Releasing a game early, then fixing it piece by piece after it's out. Some patches making things better, other patches making things worse. You're gonna fly away with this car. It's like a rocket skate that you're <laughs> in right now. Look, I actually expected there to be some bugs. I mean, The Witcher had some of these issues at release as well. And Cyberpunk is honestly their most ambitious project to date. Over seven plus years of development. But I did not expect this level of screwiness. What is going on? Who's making that noise? What? Oh no. It's rave time! Oh no! I just, just I worked get so to the hard. elevator. I don't know what to do. All of this really messing with my ability to get into the game. Watch yourself. Is she made out concrete? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Even on PC, the best version of the game by far, I encountered so many progress stopping bugs. Some really funny. There's specific junk guy. Sneak! <laughs> what was that? That was cool. <laughs> Do that again. Did I literally run and slam my head into the concrete block? It broke again, the concrete again. block. <laughs> 
One session, my chat on Twitch counted the bugs with me, and we had it, we had like 50, 60, we started to lose count. Stuff like random enemy glitching and elevators, uh, Jackie acting like an idiot when under fire. Uh, Jackie? Uh, you want to show a little here? Best get shot in the back. Who the fuck are you, Jackie? <laughs> the fuck in the fucking elevator, you piece of shit. Oh my god. <laughs> no urgency. Popping out of cars. Whoa! <laughs> fuck. You got a goose! Coming out of my car. Pon pon shit? Yes. Oh, the oh, ghost yeah. is back! He's back! Oh, yeah. ah. 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 Odd bugs where the acceleration button made me just get out of my car over and over. Random chat bubbles on my screen. Lips not moving when people are fucking talking to me in cutscenes. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. Oh no! You Her mouth is bugged! Time. She's not a talking. What the hell? That's bug number three. Uh, and if you take longer than two seconds to make a decision in those dialogue sections, you get fucking yelled at. Blowing up aircraft that slammed down in your way to prevent you from fucking progressing in the fucking level. What the fuck is this? It's a fucking destroyed right in front of me. I get the fuck out of my way. I, you fuck. I'm fucking trapped. There's no way to fucking. Pass this shit. God damn it. Blow this shit away. Go. This thing will not fucking blow up. Fuck. Fucking die. Get the fuck out of my way. God damn it. Random menus popping up on my screen, interrupting my boss battles. The minimap being too friggin' small for fast turns and fucking navigating on the goddamn world. Forgetting to put my clothes back on after a sex scene with Pan Am. What the fuck is this? Put that shit away. I don't want to fucking see that. Put the, get, get it out of my. What the fuck? Put my fucking clothes back on. So now I'm left wondering when the game will be finished. Uh, the end of January? No. February? No. Maybe the end of March? It, it pains me to know that if they had just released the game at the end of March, none of this would have happened. People could focus and share their experience in the cyberpunk world rather than share all the issues and the bugs. Deepoke! Nice dance moves, bro. Bug number 25, guys. <laughs> CD Projekt Red knew what they were doing when they released this game in its current state. And it's not as if they didn't know about the state of the last gen or this PC version. They hid footage, they told early reviewers they couldn't capture their own footage and had to use approved clips. Who does that? Not even Activision or EA does that! That was a mistake! Don't you ever try to do that again! You tried to put a band-aid on a 50 caliber bullet wound! Sure, they're gonna try, they're gonna make it right. They're gonna try to make it right, and I'm happy for that. But let's never pretend that they didn't know what they were doing. It, it needed bare minimum three more months, probably six. Hell, look at Halo Infinite as an example of, no, it's like, hell no, it's not ready. I don't care how important it is to release on Xbox. We're not gonna release it till it's ready. CD Projekt Red finally revealed the first gameplay of Cyberpunk 2077 to a select audience of media and invited guests. Soon word spread that it was the must-see game of the show. The team left E3 with over 100 media awards. But for the community of PlayStation gamers who had waited so long to see the game in action, the words of the media weren't enough. They had to see it for themselves. Two months later, their wish came true.
More concerning is the cut content. Each live path was supposed to give a distinct feel. Sure, the opening 20 minutes have a, a definite different feel, but from interviews and the original goal, I believe this was supposed to extend throughout the game. You just have to look at the Nomad one to see this. There's That's the only one that has like this exclusive mission where you find your old car in possession of Alana Pierce. Hey, what's up? Hands off my car! Hard to ruminate on that when you got a fucking time bomb lodged in your head. If it's any consolation, fucking time bomb feels shitty about it too. It's especially apparent on what's cut in the corpo path. Like you're about to go on this big heist and then bam, you're cut short. This guy shows up and says they fucking figured out everything. Your boss dies off screen, he never says anything. And you can't even go after Susan Abernathy who did it all, right? Saying that it would be impossible uh, right before you go on a scripted more impossible quest. <laughs> no urgency. The lucky oh style, <laughs> Jackie. Hit the elevator. Oh, go, go, go! Wall running, the 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 fucking little robot companion, multiple apartments we were supposed to have, occasional third person cutscenes, where are they? Train rides and station we saw in the trailers, and one night stands in VR's apartment they promised, and, and so much more. We gotta talk about the sex. Sex, sex. Sex. <laughs> Shoes are gonna shine themselves. God. Is that what you're telling me? You've been shining shoes for two weeks. Yeah. Shining shoes. Like the police in Night City, they're a fucking nightmare. They were supposed to be far more than a broken state. AI with the most simplistic programming shortcuts. Police were actually like supposed to be corrupt where you can bribe them and, and there's these powerful mercs who could come after you after causing too much chaos, but there's no mercs and the police AI and the wanted system are a complete fucking joke. Where, where did he oh, What the What, where the fuck is the cop? The fucking cop just fucking spawned in out of fucking nowhere! Teleporting to your location for one star and spawning in the walls. The guy here. Another one. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the Oh my god! This game! There's- What the fuck? Who the fuck is shooting me? Now yes, this is CD Projekt Red's first open world game at this scale. So yes, it is tough to compare it with say, GTA V, which is a highly polished game that's had improvements over five different sequels, right? You know, here in this game, the NPC behavior is so extremely basic. You're like running away if you fight them, often flying away. He's up! They spout the same canned nonsense no matter what the situation, it makes no sense. Feel good about yourself. Unless you point a gun at them in which they will not move. They'll just stand there forever doing nothing unless you shoot. And ragdoll physics, they're terrible. It's much better in GTA. It, it makes it way more satisfying to run people over. But in Cyberpunk, the NPCs look so fucking weird that when they get hit by cars, oh, they'll just disappear. 
All of this stuff makes it tough to role play as they intended for us to do in Night City. I wish that I can interact with the city in more meaningful ways. Hell, there's not even a fucking cyberpunk equivalent to Gwent! It's a fucking amazing game they could have could have done it here. It's such a huge disappointment. I'm sure the lore has something. Quad Racer! Rich Racer! It looks so close to being playable though. But I guess what? The mini game is your your fucking phone. You could call people on the phone and, and text with them, right? And and then the team that they put in charge of this stuff must have thought that they were the primary fucking team because there is a ton of it. Damn this guy too. Holy fuck, who takes that fast? Goro. Yeah. He's got four arms. Yeah. Judy! Watch. Right here. Right here is the... Hold on. We're gonna get it. Got it! <laughs> I don't got it. She's like, look at this idiot picking up his phone. Oh, I got him again. <laughs> yeah, this guy sucks. A metric ton, even though it's pretty fucking annoying at times with everybody and their mother trying to sell you a fucking car! Just like everything. I want everything. Why does this guy keep... I don't give a fuck if these things are for sale. It's a Black Friday sale. You check out these prices. Texting me. No. Go away. Oh. God. Hold on. Hello? What? A car. No, I don't want to buy a car yeah, right now. I'm in the middle of something. Stop calling uh, me how about so a much. Motorcycle? G Shut up. Go away. Seriously? Who's calling you? No, I don't want a fucking car. I don't want to buy a car. I don't need your fucking car. I can steal a fucking car, you moron. It's the new wanna go bowling, Nico? Nico, it's Roman. Let's go bowling. I can't stand this shit. Ah! Cool, cousin. Another time, then. You've got mail. Hey, V. I'm just, uh... I'm calling to say goodbye. Nico, it's Roman. Let's go bowling. Aside from bugs, there's some other glaring abnormal stuff like brain dead AI, useless crafting system, uh, that tiny mini map when you're driving. The driving in the game, it's not great. God damn, the driving controls like a fucking tank. I'd say it reminded me more of like Fast and the Furious Crossroads than I'd like to admit. And motorcycles? Yeah. All of these have issues and need to be improved. No! <sighs> now is it all bad? No, of course not. Now I know this may come as a shock, but I actually like Cyberpunk 2077. I like the game. I love the game at times, when it works. I fucking love this, guys. This fucking shit is fucking... This is a good fucking starting mission. Street Kid is really awesome. This... Just the world, the immersion level of being in first person. Under all of its roughness, I can see what they were going for. And maybe one day it will in fact be fully realized. Um, the character creator, it's awesome. There's like more than 43 different haircuts, tons of unique eyeball irises and shapers and all manner of customization. You can even customize your freaking cyber junk. Oh hell yeah, fucking, I do, I customized my character so freaking awesomely. Like I did this freaking katana pistol build and I had like all these fucking upgrades and it looked fucking amazing on my high powered PC. Oh. Like I had, this RTX was on dude and there was like fucking reflections everywhere. Was, like reflections in the building, what? reflections in the fucking puddles. I had 60 frames per second. 60? I had some fucking shadows and, and the textures, well sometimes the textures would pop in but they'd like take like one second to pop in. And 
and it was they like so. In? Yeah, they popped in, man. It was fucking amazing, dude. So like, how was your playthrough on the PS4? Uh, it was all right. I went Mantis Blades, as you can see, they're really cool. What the fuck is that? Mantis Blades. Those are the Mantis Blades on PS4? Yeah, look, so dangerous. They lied to us. Stab, stab. Oh my God. What's up, Hello, guys? Jay. How's it going? Hey, OJ. Well, where's all your upgrades, dude? You, you, what did you go? Stripper build? What, what is that? You say that. On your literal balls? Damn straight. Did what? Cut off the original too? What what purpose does that serve, Joe? Augments. Aug augment. They they look amazing. No, uh, I ow, I can't. I'm gone. Just look at you. them! No, look at it! No. Cease your eyes on these bad boys! But even here, things are incomplete. You can't change your hide, your name, and more. And, and the bugs come back to rear their ugly heads. <laughs> what? <laughs> Was you flopping out? Did you fly open? <laughs> what the fuck now. is that? Joe! Sorry, guys. Joe, put your dick away, man. I drink too much GFU. What are you doing, man? <laughs> Too much G Fuel, boys. What the hell are you doing? It happened to us. I didn't think it would happen to us. I was over here looking for a fucking knife. What the fuck? This, this is wrong the knife. best bug oh, ever. Right what the fuck? Are you fucking shitting me? Are you serious? Like, <laughs> good troll though. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I can't even. No, it's a <laughs> normal implant malfunction. Happy? Oh, okay, okay, back back to the good things to support why I still like the game after all of these issues in the cut content. Well, uh, you build some pretty awesome relationships with various characters in the game. Uh, there's a few good ones like Jackie, Judy, Goro Takamura, and of course Keanu, because Keanu, dick. Why do you come Welcome. I don't think there'll be a game that looks like this. Yeah, it's intense. Welcome. The quests themselves, there's some great ones. Uh, there are, some are long and interesting. Again, maybe not on the level of which are 3's quests, but they're generally pretty good for the most part. Oh, hello, sir. Welcome to Clouds. How are you? Hey, um, I'm here for that thing. Oh, yes, I know exactly what you're here for. Uh, go ahead and jack in right here, and we'll get you started. Right here? Yeah, jack in right here. No, 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 your wrist jack. You pull the wire, and you put it into the port. Our AI goes to your subconscious, and tailors an event specifically for you based on your deepest desires. It makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, pl okay. pl plug in. So the AI will tailor an event specifically for you using your deepest desires, and it killed itself. What? No, no, no problem, this happens sometimes. Uh, okay. uh, I'll just pull everything up manually. Um. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, booth three is ready for you. Um. Enjoy. Thank you. I will. Yeah. Hey, Bill. Yeah. Uh, can you come do a memory wipe on me and register two, please? Yeah. There's very long sections of just talking and exposition, especially if you're selecting all the optional dialogue options. It is a meaty story with tons of voiced and recorded uh, lines and dialogue. And what holds up this game 
is some great writing. That's where it's at. Fantastic immersion when things aren't breaking. And I think that first person idea was the right decision. You really feel like you're in the action. You're up close and personal with people. The world, the world is ridiculously cool thanks to Mike Pondsmith's cyberpunk universe. It's so cool to see it realized in this way. And my God, the music, once again, it's so fucking good. As in CD Projekt Red's previous games, it just makes you want to get up and dance. We like to fuck. Why is every song in this game fucking awesome? And one of the most important aspects is wonderful combat. I love combat and how it can be so insane at times. You can buff yourself up by eating shit like and taking drugs just like in Witcher 3. Whereas Geralt would eat chicken to heal himself during battle. V uses his inhaler? You could completely break the game with the Mantis Blades, but you know what? I fucking love it. Is the game balanced for any of its weapons? No, not really, but it's still fun as fuck. You shoot through walls. Really? What? what? <laughs> this is the best end of the game when best you got that. And you got that. I love all the unique futuristic guns and the melee weapons. Now granted, the melee combat system is a complete mess. It's a joke. It, 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 it's like, why the fuck is the dodge button the same button as the crouch button? It's infuriating. You're constantly crouching and then, you know, and trying to dodge in tough fights. These boxing matches are complete fucking bullshit! Why is the why is the dodge button the crouch button? Oh yeah, that's fun too. Yeah. I, I, oh shit! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh shit! <laughs> you did. I took you for a marshmallow. <laughs> Let me know if you want a rematch. You make a great punch. What the fuck just happened? Enemies cheating, like behind invisible walls, uh, teleporting attacks, homing fucking kicks, just a ridiculous amount of damage. You have to seriously level up before these. They just feel poor and just like cheap and wrongly programmed. It's, ugh. Yeah, there should be no tracking. Two heads are better Come than one. on! And four fists are Come better on! Than two. To overcome this stuff, you definitely gotta level up in a variety of modifiers and abilities, customizing your cyber parts, and putting mods on top of those cool shit like those fucking mantis blades, gorilla arms, and even that little fucking laser wire from Johnny Mnemonic, which Keanu was in too. There is some good attention to detail in the world. It's beautiful to see like the reflections and, and the water on the ground. And I just love how much stuff there is to read. There's countless dildos in the world for fans of dildos. What is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. There's too much you whoa, do right there. Too many, <laughs> many dicks on the dance floor, <laughs> CD Projekt. There. No. Blue up too. Surprise! You thought you Fuck got number three. 
You thought you killed me, Angry Joe! You didn't kill me! <laughs> you, you could tell that the people crafting this stuff for this universe actually give a shit. I mean, car interiors for each car? Hell, some fucking Need for Speed games don't bother with that level of detail. And that's their whole fucking thing! Yet it is here, creatively modeled in-game for future and concept cars. Like this sweet-ass Batman car that my, uh, you know, chat helped me find in a cave out in the wasteland that you visit. And despite some issues, major issues in other areas, there are some good technical aspects that are impressive. There are shockingly good load times on PC. It's basically the opposite of what what Anthem was in terms of fucking loading. It's been extremely impressive in that regard on PC. If only they would load the fucking textures properly the first time. And finally, at times, there are really good illusions of choice. No, hell, in this game, they are actually some serious choices, not illusions. You can completely miss missions based on your choices, like a really well done funeral that was touching. Hell, at one time, I was purposefully testing to see if this game was full of shit or not. Knock four times, guys, not three times. Your choices actually matter! There are multiple endings and even a secret awesome ending that is hard as fuck to complete when you try to take down the entire corporate building yourself single-handedly. I fucking love this stuff. I haven't done it yet, but I'm like, I, I want to do it very soon after this review. In the end, it was a great story with great characters, with meaningful choices, top-tier music, fantastic if unbalanced combat, and some entertaining quests. And in the end, that's what I wanted. I just wish they'd fucking bothered to get it right the first time and finish the damn game. <sighs> I've no doubt that the game will get better in the future. And I still do have faith in CD Projekt Red to do that. But my faith has been shaken, and they have to earn back my respect through hard work and actions rather than words. Their reputation has taken a hit in the community, and it's up to how they get themselves back up off the ground and conduct themselves. Cyberpunk will be the game they wanted to eventually. Maybe in a sequel, even more so. But certainly, it was a rough start that never needed to happen. The final verdict for Cyberpunk 2077, it's difficult to rate with all the bugs and the unplayable state of the game I wrestled with myself. Like, how do you even rate that? If you want to talk about the PS4 version we played at launch, it's like a two! A fucking two! It was nearly unplayable before being fixed. I suppose I could try to focus on the PC version, even though we had a ton of issues there too. But I guess if you factor in all the good things and all the bad and all the patches, I'd say six out of 10 at release. Consoles fare much worse even uh, with some of those uneven fixes. I'd say at best five out of 10, it's probably more like a four. The free DLC and the constant work they say that they're gonna put into the game, I'm sure can raise those low scores, but again, that's not how we do things here at the Angry Joe Show. And that's not how we should accept our games at release. I'm just super freaking disappointed with you, CD Projekt Red. I expected more. And I hope that you'll turn this around. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Fuck, man. This one hurt. Well, that was it. That was the uh, Cyberpunk 2077 review. I guess we can go on to the top 10 lists now, and uh, you can bet your ass that this game's going to be on one of those. Uh, but uh, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you very much for watching. I want to thank G Fuel one more time uh, for sponsoring our show, helping us get through this. Uh, it's a 30% off discount, which is their highest discount right now. So if you're ever going to get a tub, grab a tub now. I recommend uh, PewDiePie. And they got two new flavors, Blue Eye. Uh, shiny Splash is particularly good. I hear they even got Scorpion and Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat coming out soon, I think. So uh, stay tuned for that, guys. Uh, click 
click those links down below. It supports our show. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, guys. <laughs>